Hi, everybody. Welcome. Happy holidays. So glad you're here with us today. Um, we're a little christmas up, so that's fun, um, good stuff. And we're actually expecting some snow in the next couple days here in the Portland area. So that's uh, very, very fun. Maybe have a white Christmas even. So that's good, good stuff. Um, I, anyway, I'm, I'm just so glad you guys are here. I see everybody in the chat from all over. It's so nice. Uh, thanks for hanging with us this year and just feels like a great, great celebration today. I have a really big, probably the biggest announcement that I've had um, in the uh, painting lessons with Marla com website so that's going to come in a couple minutes but before I get into that I want to just share a few of my paintings from my gallery show uh, it's only going to be um, at, at the gallery for just a few more weeks I think um, oh not even that just till January 1st so I thought I'd share a couple of those um, they're yeah it's, it was really fun to, to have them in the gallery it's in Newburgh it's it they are art elements in Newburgh, Oregon right now. So yeah, so yeah, let's just show a few of them. So this is starting with a kind of a, that, that's kind of a very overall pattern piece, a little close up view of a garden. Most of these pieces are a friend's, my good friend's garden. So um, just an amazing space that he has there. So uh, it's, it's, Kind of lovely and let's see what's up next is one of the peacocks that i did this is a really kind of cool piece um i like the lighting on it it's kind of turned out nice and it the, most of these paintings are fairly large what would you they're, say um, they're, the size of this one is um, that peacock. one i think that one's one of the smaller the peacock is one of the smaller ones i think that's like i don't know i think it's like 15 by 30 something like oh, that okay. And um, they're all acrylic paintings. So let's see what's up next. Oh, this is one of my very favorite ones. I really like how this turned out. I think the rich colors are turned out really nice. And I like the texture of this painting. It has a, all of them have a lot of paint on them. So that's uh, important to remember. One of the things that I think I see students doing is not using enough paint. So we want to make sure use enough paint. Did we lose him? Looks like we're back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. So this um, this painting is is kind of cool. That tree on the on the on the left hand side is a big redwood. It's just a beautiful beautiful specimen. It's lovely. And let's go the next one. The next one. Too many, too many, yeah. Got a different setup. So let's see. Oh, that one. That one uh, is a little garden path. And that one's, um, I think that one's 24 by 48. I like how this one turned out. It's kind of sparkly. Actually, all of them are quite different for me. Um, you know, I would, I would say... I'm, I'm not going to say quite different, but they're they're definitely a different mode of painting for me than in the past. So I'm always trying to push myself to try new stuff. Yeah, so I like this. This one's also 24 by 48. Yeah, they're a lot more. They each have a lot of sharp detail in them. Yeah, they do. A bit of a they departure. do. And then this one. This is a view of a fountain, and the, the fountain is so beautiful. Um, you were just talking about that fountain. Be lovely to be a little bird and be able to perch on that that fountain. Just shrink yourself down and be on be on that fountain. All right. So that's that. So those paintings are up there for. Yeah. Are we having a little trouble today? Oh, it it, come, it came back. It did. It's okay. um, we're we're a little spotty today, so we're gonna have All to right. um, just All bear right. with us. Hopefully. Yeah, please. Yeah, you guys are always so patient, so thanks. Um, all right, so without further ado, I guess I'm going to go ahead and make my, my, my big announcement. And I'm really, really excited and just, just 
over the moon, happy with, with bells on. Literally, I have bells on today to talk about um, my, my newest workshop. And I've been working on it for about two years, on and off, or in some, sometimes kind of solid. So today, I get to announce my newest workshop, Drawing and Sketching with, with Marla. Uh, it is an amazing, <laughs> it's been an amazing journey creating it. I tried to bring everything that I wanted to know about drawing or that I wish I had known about drawing um, that, I, that I wasn't taught until later on or I didn't learn until later on. So I was really trying to figure out how to bring that together in the most concise and um, the best way. And so it took me a while to figure out how I would want to do that. But the workshop ends up being, um, I, you know, I think it's, it's probably, it is the best workshop that we've put together. It's over 15 hours of video, and it's an 81-page study guide. So it's, it's really, really thorough. Um, I really organized it. So... Um, Again, I, I wanted to show what I thought was important for everyone to know about drawing. Drawing is the foundation of everything a visual artist does. And if you know how to draw, you can literally do anything that you can dream of as a visual artist. And you won't have, there's nothing that could possibly limit you in that regard if you know how to draw. So that's that's what I want for you guys. That's what I want you guys to be able to do, to just paint and draw anything that you can think of, anything that you can dream of. I mean, how special is that? I mean, and, and you could never, ever, ever be bored ever again. If you've got paper and pencil, um, you're set. Uh, so this workshop is really for everybody. Um, Every painting that I ever do, when you guys watch me up here and I start with the blue spruce and however it is that I start, every single painting has that drawing foundation. And uh, I see students that kind of want to kind of skip over it. It's really tempting to skip over it because it feels, and there's some, something about drawing that feels kind of hard, but it's not. And I, you know, I wanted to give that to everybody. Um, but even if you're not an artist, this workshop is great. If you're like someone like, like Roger Thompson, he's always saying that he's going to sketch and draw. So this, this is the workshop. This is it. Um, yeah, and even if you've never been an artist and never had your hands in, in art, this will, this will get your hands in art. The and, workshop and, um, is, is we, really... Uh, we, we, we did take a lot of uh, inspiration from everyone in the chat for, for years now. People were yeah. saying they wanted a drawing workshop, yeah. and we really did go kind of above and beyond. Yeah, that. we did. We kind of went all out. Yeah, so, and, it, and we made you yeah. wait, but I think yeah, it's going to be worth the wait. Yeah, we did make you wait. And we actually, we actually did almost an entire workshop. We filmed it. We did it. And then I went, no, this isn't it. This isn't, this isn't what, what I need to, to give everybody. And so we redid it. <laughs> so it's taken us a while to like for for me to say to put my stamp of approval on it. And go, yeah, this is this is this is the way to go. And so here it is. So um, um, do you want to show one in a minute? Want to have yeah. uh, Bryce show some of the? Are we have some of the graphics loaded? Yeah, up, we or? have a graphic loaded up for the. There's cool. a for the graphic drawing for the drawing workshop. Oh yeah, I, I'll find it. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna find it because it's in there. Let's see. Um, Hang, hang tight, everybody. Today's kind of a crazy day. We should show you the back. This is another Christmas present. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Um, oh, uh oh, what just happened? Did we unplug this? Oh, oh. see over here. <laughs> uh, like, wait a minute. See. Three, year yeah. three pr promo? It's kind of crazy around here. Uh, is that the promo store? Right there? No? Oh, boy. So, where is it? Let's just grab it. How about you want to just want me to go get the folder and we, we can just show them yeah. on the palette? Where's it at? Um, the marketing. The marketing. Okay. Thanks for your patience, guys. Thanks, thanks you guys for waiting. Let me, I can, I can probably find it. Let's see. Um, well, 
can't see. There, there oh, it is. You're on the, you're on the wrong side. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> we're making you, we're making you wait to even see it. So that's good, though. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, but so right now the drawing workshop's on sale. Obviously, it's on sale. And um, usually it's $109, but right now it's um, on sale $37 off. So it's, it's only $72 right now. And of course, if you're a member of monthly pastel painting lessons online, you get your special member discount. You get $15 off on additional $15 off. And you get that automatically when you check out. So remember, so that's only $57. It's such a great price for this workshop because it's, it's, really, it's really dense. I really take you through a warm-up. I take you through first exercises. There's exercises and then there's projects. So the, I take you through a bunch of exercises, a warm-up exercise, talk about light and shadow, so we're describing how to describe form. And then I take you through a whole series of construction methods, which I feel like is really important. And I didn't really learn until later on. And then rendering methods, if you want to take your drawings to a more finished state. And then the projects really pull all of those things together. And they really are encompass a, a big range of subjects that'll enable you to really tackle just about anything that you want to tackle. Uh, so it's, it's really um, a pretty, it, I, I think it's a very, very thorough workshop. Um, let's see, what else did I want to say about it? Oh, I can show you some of the projects. So yeah, let's, let's look at some of the stuff. Let's switch to the palette cam, right? Yeah. So really simple. We start out super simple. Oh, the other thing I want to say about this workshop it's the materials are really simple. I wanted to keep it just keep it keep it really simple to start. So it's basically paper and pencils. That's it, paper and pencils. So it's there's not a huge investment in in materials in this. You can get started really um, really easily. All right. So we t I take you through some exercises in just simple stuff in in rendering methods. There's the light and shadow stuff. We work, we work on tone paper a little bit, which makes makes things really fun and, and rich. And then we worked on some, um, did, did a little landscape, um, nature, some nature stuff. This is just one of them. And then we get into some other things, which is really, really exciting. So animals, so how to do fur, how to do the eyes, how to get the, those rich, dark backgrounds. So that's, um, and, and this is done on a little bit nicer paper. And then a still life, how to set up the still life, how to light it, how to, how to grid out your drawing and get your drawing just, just right, and then do a finished rendering. So. All of, all of that is, is you get to see every single moment. And that's one of the reasons why it's long because this kind of drawing you know, just really entails um, taking your time and, and spending time with, with it. So that's, that's, um, that's the, the, a few of the assignments. And we really do walk you through pretty, pretty slowly. So yeah. it starts very basic and gets more advanced. So it's really for yeah. everybody. Yeah, it really is. It does. It starts out super simple. Just hey, just making marks on the page, and how to how to get tones with with line, how to get tones with blending. So I take you through all of that. Um, so the other thing I talk about is the difference between drawing and sketching. So you can think of sketching as maybe note taking, preliminary work, and drawing can be, you know can be more of a finished piece of art. It really boils down to, for, for me, the difference between drawing and sketching is your intention. So um, I'm, I both are really, really cool. Um, I'm, you guys know I'm a big, big sketching fan. So all right. So that, that is really, really exciting. 
I hope you go to the website, uh, paintinglessonswithmarla.com, and check it out. And um, uh, you should get the drawing workshop so that you so you can have that wonderful feeling which I have, and it is amazing to go. Well, I can I can do anything. There's nothing holding me back from from any subject matter that I want to tackle. It's it's just such a wonderful feeling. So I want you guys to have that too. Okay. All right, so today, just kind of along that line, today um, what I'm going to paint for you is pretty, pretty fun. It's very, very seasonal and sparkly, and I think really beautiful. So I'm going to paint this city cityscape. I believe this is Montreal. I sourced this from Upsplash, which is one of the sites that you can um, get used um, copyright free images. Um, so I think that this is really a, just a beautiful little scene. Uh, but there's, there's a lot kind of here to tackle drawing-wise, right? So what I did was, in addition to printing out this photo for reference, I printed it out large because I just, before we begin, I want to just talk about um, the reference photo just a little bit. And I'm going to draw on it. I will, this kind of thing. Um, it's fun to do. Those figures are pretty much silhouetted. Okay. So let's talk about them. So um, in terms of perspective, uh, some of these buildings, so they're, 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 they're not sharing the same vanishing point because they're, they're at different angles. It's not like a, a city street in New York City where all the buildings are you know, just down, down one, you know, one street. They're, these are, these are kind of at crooked angles to one another. So they are going to share a, 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 the horizon, but they're not going to share the, so the eye level but they're not sharing the vanishing points, the buildings. Okay, let's talk about the figures as well. A lot of times you can get the figures, you can think about, see these people, their heads are right about the same level and the baseline right here is changing. Okay, so this person is this tall and this per right? So they're, they're about the same, relatively the same height. Now, then this guy, his head's not on the same eye, eye level because this street kind of goes up and down. You see, it, it, it kind of dips, dips down, and then it goes up and it dips down. So that's the same thing. This person's not, this person is on that, um, that eye level because, because it's at the same um, elevation as these people, but this guy is is different. So, because the street dips down, so th those are little technicalities. Now let's talk about figuring this scene out to to draw today. The main thing that I am going to be doing when I'm painting is I'm going to be thinking about what I'm going to be thinking about what this shape is. Where is this negative shape? There's a, this right here. So all of this, this is important to me because once I get this, once I get figured this out, the rest kind of can fall in place pretty easily. I get, and then, then I know where these people are relative to, to this shape in here. Uh, so drawing wise, it looks like it's like there's a lot to it and it's super complex. But if you just break it down, I want to. That's what I'm always trying to do when I'm when I'm when I'm drawing or painting. What's the simplest way for me to see a scene? And so for me, it's this and then this and then I've got the road. These cars, they're just little boxes. That's all they are. Don't get intimidated by these kind of things. That, that's just a that's just a rectangle. That's all it is. Just a bunch of them. These people, they're they're just 
you know, they're, they're just silhouettes. They're not much either. So, we, you know, we don't need to, to, to make it harder than it is. They're, they're just like that. And then we've got these little bright shimmering lights. And then, of course, we've got all the this little snowflakes that are, are sparkling because the, the, those lights, the street lamps are hitting them. So that's super fun. We've got this cool reflection. Let's see, what else have we got going on? We've got some kind of little bit of neon here. This is, this is kind of a cool thing, this shop window, um, nice and bright here. And that's helping to silhouette these guys. And then we've got these series of bright shimmering lights all in here. So that's pretty fun. And then these, these lamps. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's really, really fun stuff to draw and paint. Then let's look at the, the color, because I think it's kind of interesting to think about. It's really pretty uh, monochromatic, or not monochromatic, it, it, but it's, it's got, it's very restrained palette. And what, what could we say about these colors? I love this sky, and that's why I picked this um, dark blue pastel matte. That's what I'm using today. Because it's it feels like that's a good good fit for this. Let's look at the some colors before we get started here. I feel like there's a lot of reddish brown in here, like a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, a lot a lot of this. Uh, maybe maybe some of like this kind of purple, but definitely like in in this vicinity a lot. Then there's some darks. There's this fairly broad value range, right? We've got the dark silhouettes. So some Terry Ludwigs are going to work for those. And then we're going to want to, you know, come up here and get some of these, these um, lights in here with some nice bright lights over here. Maybe some pinks. Seems like some pinks. Some of these lavenders maybe in here. But nothing about, nothing about this... Um, snow right here is white. Maybe there's some white right there, but not, you know, there's only a couple little spots that I would say, mm, I'm going to use white. So that's kind of what I think about that. All right, and I've chosen to make my, my painting pretty small today. It's, a, it's 11 by 7 and a half, and that is an equivalent proportion to the, this photo is four by six, so I came over here to my little handy dandy proportion scale and I lined up four by six, four and six, and then I come up here, here, what's the longest side that I wanna make my painting? It's 11, and so I look at, it's 11 and just about a little bit under seven and a half. So that's how I came up with this proportion, just using my Good old proportion wheel. Okay, so that is it. I'm gonna get started drawing. And cool. So Marla, I'm gonna to try to get in tight um, for okay. this comp. So can you um, okay. do your test marks on the right side vertically, and not on the bottom? That way, people Over can here? see them. Yeah. 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 Great. Definitely. Great. Okay. All right. So I can I can just look at this to get started, and I go, oh, okay, this is. I'm not even I'm not even looking at the photo right now. I'm just going to come in here. Where's that's right about halfway. Is that halfway? Maybe a little higher than halfway, not much. And um, is there any here. way I can get you to switch your corsage from your left oh. <laughs> to your right? Cool. That that would be helpful. My corsage. Your corsage. Your, I'll your take my Christmas corsage. Of. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's that that kind of I it's vintage. Ooh. Don't you know? It's that old school kind of thing. I'll just take it off. All right. It's so pretty. I'll I'll just put it right put it right there. Okay. All righty. Let's see. I'm going to come and get my, my building in here. Actually, I want to get... 
And so my person is actually, it's small. And then this car is here, right about there. I think, I'm looking at that, maybe it's even a little higher. All right, and then I'm gonna come over here and just start building it. Where's this? these people? What's the baseline of the people? Where's the eye level? So here's this eye level. So I know this person is here. Once I've got one person, then I can decide on the other people, the scale of them. This, the person next to him is a little shorter. The woman next to him is a little bit shorter than him. So just going back to a earlier question in the chat, yeah. Yeah. Um, are there any portraits in the work workshop? Not in this one, because it's a beginning drawing. You know, it's really starting out slow. But you've been doing them on your own on the iPad, and they're pretty amazing. I so. have been. Yeah, I you. will sh be sharing those um, short, very shortly, very soon. Lots of, uh, yeah, lots of practice lately. So. Yeah. yeah. Practice, practice, practice. That's Did, what... There's actually mm -hmm. one of those videos, a clip is, of it is included in the commercial. Oh, right. That's right. All right. So I'm just getting these shapes in here and thinking about the masses of the side of the buildings. Um, I'm going to come across and get this. And this, and it comes, dips down, and then it comes straight down. And there's the other cars. Just, just right now, they're just, they're just shapes. They're just everything is just a shape. There's nothing that's not a shape in what we're doing. So this guy, remember, he, he's lower. Here's the, t the top of the lady, the, her head. But this guy is, so here's the, their heads, and then this person's head, right? And here's the car over here. But this guy is lower. He's a little lower. And he's right in there. And then all these good things in here. And I'm looking at this. This is a little lower than I've got it. And then this comes up. And then here is my, this light that's here with a cool thing on top. And then like so. So that's basically it. There, and then the rest is kind of, the rest is kind of detail. I, I can't really tell what's going on back here. I, I'm kind of guessing that there's a hillside in here, but this is all kind of a glowy um, jumble <laughs> right in here. I'm not really going to worry about detail on it um, because I, I, I don't really need to. Let's get some idea of how the road is moving. And, And then they have the, their reflections. So I, I don't think that's too bad. Then, you know, we could, we could get in here and, and, and play around with, there's a, there's a big kind of doorway entry here. Play around with some of these things. 
kind of gives some scale. And there's some architectural elements, which I'm not going to get too worried about yet. There's windows. There's all kinds of detail. I'm considering a little bit the vanishing points, but I don't, again, I don't need to worry about that even too much. And there's all this, and I'm eyeballing, eyeballing. It's okay to do that. All right. What do I want to say over here about the lamps? I think I want to um, let's see here. Here's this guy's height. And if I come up here, I think I think I just want to get one of these lamps kind of going right here. It's right on the edge of my composition. Comes down here to the sidewalk. And then there's this sign right here. That might be a kind of fun thing to put in. And then there's a bunch of these lamps. And then there's a lower row above his head. Oh, that's going into the that shop. So I don't want that. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, whew. All right, now what? I want to go ahead and get some color in. Start by getting something down in here. Can you remind everyone where you got this photo? Yeah, I got this from Upsplash. Upsplash. And you sometimes use Pixabay as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to do something, you know, fun holiday, and I didn't really have um, in my stuff um, what I thought was interesting enough. So right now I'm just kind of getting something in, something down. So this is kind of some purple. Not sure if it's dark enough, actually, but we'll see. Might be. I can't. I I, I always reserve judgment on 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 things on value until I have a little bit more rolling, a little bit more going, and I don't. I can't tell yet, but we'll see. There's some brown. And I'm, you know, keeping it overall pretty thin, which is where I want to be. I like this kind of mauvey purple, but I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and add some. Oh, this is a good color too, this one for this. Get some of these shapes in. I'm going to go ahead and, and just block this in like so. And then up here it gets it's darker. I want to use something a little browner. 
for that. Um, let's see. Ooh, what happened? The light in here got like got over overcast yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah, but I think we're gonna get that storm. It feels like it's kind of rolling up on yeah, us. Yeah, it does. Beautiful morning today, but yeah. I um, I'm excited. I love this now. And I won't miss one day of work, even if the roads are closed. <laughs> I'll walk. I, I um, am excited for the snow. I'm hoping for no ice. That's what I. That's what I want. Can we have it just like that? No, snow, but no ice, please. <laughs> yeah, it gets crazy around here when it snows. That's for sure. It can. It can. All right, so now I don't have that, any of those street lights in yet. Working my way towards it. It's the back of this car. It's just a shape. It's not all it is. It's not nothing more than that. Um, and this guy, I think I had the placement of it a little off. And I'm going to get the, this, this guy in here. And uh, just to clarify, when you had that photo earlier, when you, when you did the compositional uh, breakdown, yeah. that was just a, a uh, print from, on, photo, on uh, regular old paper. Yep. So it was kind of light in color, and you, you just used that to do the um, drawing on it for the compositional breakdown. Why? Why is there a question well, about it's the a little color? Light, it's lighter in color, just because it's. Oh it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of a cheap printout from the computer, yeah, not a yeah. not a real photo. Yeah. So the the photo that you're working with in your hand is a, an actual photograph. Yes. Same printer, different paper. Yes. That's correct. So those people, um, I want to state them as simply as possible. I can always go back and add to them if I want, but I want to keep it super simple. Same with this guy, just, just a shape. He's, he's kind of, kind of hunched a little bit. So let's get this lady in over here. She's kind of there's her head. Get keep keep the keep the keeping the head a, smaller than you think is usually a good way to go in figures. So dot for the head. So it starts to pull together a little bit. Got to get those lights in. I'm going to go ahead and get something in in this this shape here. Actually, I want some bluer. Can't see exactly what's going on there, and there's all this cool glowing happening in there actually all in here. I'm really setting myself up with uh, some color as a base to go in there and get that, those, um, the lights and the highlights. Now I'm bringing in a little bit different color. 
Ooh, I, I have this idea that I can use some, some orange in here. This is kind of a peachy thing. I'm just kind of testing that out and seeing how I like it. I maybe want something even pinker. Ooh, yeah. Like that. All right, I'm just kind of testing, testing the waters on that. Yeah, that's cool. All right, now. A lot of times when I'm painting, I'm, I'm, I'm holding back on doing something because I think it's going to look really cool. And that's what I'm kind of doing that right now. And it's not, you know, I'm not doing that to be like sneaky or to, to show off. I'm doing it because it's fun for me. I, I, I like that idea like, oh, you're, you're kind of setting yourself up for the, for the fun stuff to come. <laughs> that's kind of what I feel like. All right. So um, when you say I'm just getting something down, um, yeah. are you still paying attention to values? Yeah, I am definitely. I'm definitely paying attention to value. I'm, yeah, I, I'm getting something down that that is a sort of a base. It it me, when I'm saying that I'm I'm meaning that that's not that. This might not be the, the, the final layer of, of color or, or of value, but I, I need to start some, you always need to start somewhere, right? So that's what I'm, that's what I kind of mean. I'm just starting. And I, and I don't know for sure whether it's the, it's going to be the, 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 exactly the right thing, but, but I, have to, I have to have a starting point. And uh, what do you what did you call the proportional scale that you used in the beginning? It's um it's a proportion wheel. Proportion wheel. Yeah. It's a really good tool. There are other ways of getting that of you know getting the same thing, definitely. Um, but um, it comes in handy a lot. I use a lot. Here's a uh, good question about the drawing workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, if I've taken a drawing class in the past, is Marla's new workshop good for someone who's a little past beginner? I think so. 100%. Yeah. I mean, that drawing of Cooper, the dog. Yeah. That's it's, drawing and yeah, it's, there's some, yeah. The still life is a really, a really intense piece. So a lot, a lot going on in that one. They're all good, though. Yeah, I think so. So I'm just getting a little color. There's some there's some beautiful n nuance is in this in this that are just kind of fun to, to try to get. And so um so I haven't I haven't done any of the like really really fun stuff yet because I'm again I'm kind of holding <laughs> I'm holding back oh, that's not very nice but can kind of start to see some of this stuff happening. 
All right. Have, All you, right. have you ever been to Montreal? I'm trying to remember if I have. I think I have. I've always wanted to go, but I've, never, I've been to Toronto. I've never been to Montreal. Maybe I'm, maybe I haven't been to Montreal. All right, it's starting to look cool. Um, at this point in the painting, um, and I think this is a, a, a place I like to be in, in, in the process, is um, it's, it's, it's certainly not done, but I can see, I can see the potential. Um, and um, that, that's really a good place to be. And uh, does the drawing workshop include structures? Not this one. Oh, there is a sort of. A oh, structure. yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. The but it's it it doesn't um, it doesn't have um, a, anything too heavy on perspective. I do talk about ellipses a bit, which is really. Um, going to be key for almost any still life almost well there's so ellipses are just all all over the place right almost everywhere you look okay now i think it's time to Think about that sky a little bit. We've got, you know, a few things in here that are really nice. We've got some value laid down. We have plenty of opportunity to get those nice light lights in, which we'll do. And I'm just getting a few things in for some architectural elements just to kind of make suggestions of them. Not nothing real um, nothing super defined. Because it's not, nothing's really defined in this. It's very, you know, just kind of ethereal feeling. And so I think what I like about the photograph. Sort of. All right. But the sky needs something in it. it the, the value of it's not it's not dark enough. So we need to go ahead and put something in there up here. And nice. And I'm planning on getting those snowflakes over the top of this. Oh, my, maybe that maybe that light should be scoochied over a little bit. We'll see. And I want a nice gradation in that sky. I see it is there's some it's interesting because it's got some green in it to me and it's also got some purple in it. So I'm going to give it a nice mix. Some green. I'm 
and then it gets even a little bit lighter down here. It's kind of it's not bad. The thing I think that is most important about the drawing workshop is um, in terms of, it's, it shows you oh, basically uh, the, the construction methods. Basically, it, it, it's showing you how to draw anything. It kind of doesn't matter what the, what the, um, what the subject is. The, the, the principle applied, apply, they apply to everything that you're gonna draw. Anything and everything. All right. Some good stuff. All right. I want to take a look at it before I start putting in those lights. Good. Okay, now we can start going for those lights and some, some details. I'm, I'm a little nervous about it about doing the lights. <laughs> All right. Thinking about, okay, we'll just go for it. Some of them are warmer than others. And then Everybody's so quiet today. 
Yeah, I think everyone's yeah. really enjoying the, uh, the game. <laughs> what? Well, there was just a a, a, a large, uh, a long pause, so it. Uh, oh, really? Because of uh, because no we're, because no one's talking. How funny! It's definitely a mesmerizing painting. That's for sure. Well, it's not. Oh, I want to do something different on that sky. I'm not. I'm not that excited about that gray. I want to be excited about the sky. That's that's more exciting, right? So here here's the that big lamp. And then there's one that's out here. Yeah, and sometimes, just to let everyone know, um, Bryce and I do talk shop sometimes in a whisper. And sometimes we forget to turn the audio off. So if you hear strange things in the background, that's just us talking shop. So <laughs> nothing important. Yeah, it makes me nervous because I think something's up. <laughs> yeah, your your guys are whispering in the background. What? 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 Yeah, Everything okay? Everything's going to go down the tubes. Right. We had a little rough start today. It's a lot of fun. We've learned a lot. It's always a work in progress. It's, it's it very really tricky. is. Yeah. Oops, I'm messing up this gal here. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now, now it's time maybe to get a little more serious about a few things, and get get start getting the real sparkly lights in and the snow, and just shaping up a few things. But um, overall, I think you know it's 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 neat. It's gonna come together. Um, all right, let me wash my hands off a little bit. And now I want to make sure I get something that I know is soft enough that's going to, you know, cut through some, because I've got a little bit of product on here now, so I want to make sure I'm going to cut through some of that. Now this, the face of this building has some interesting stuff going on, so I want to Make sure I get that too. And I want also a little glaze of something kind of light right it back in here because it it's all kind of soft and fuzzy in there. And those cars, they're just really, you don't really need to say a whole lot. They're going to read as a vehicle. So all these, they're just little shapes. We don't need to, our brain is going to fill in, your viewer's brain is going to fill in stuff. You don't need to say everything.
You can, but you don't need to. There's actually another figure back in here. I don't know whether I'll include it or not. And uh, just a quick question, um, mm -hmm. basic question. Do you ever sharpen your pastels? The only time I sharpen them is when I'm using them to sign. I don't otherwise know. What time is it? Oh, we're going over a little bit on time. That's okay. What? Yeah, we were a little bumped, a little rough start, bumpy start, so. Oh, cool. Well, that's good. Thinking, thinking a couple of things. There's some kind of details in here. It is funny that um, I forgot to ask you to tie your hair back today, but you are wearing a Santa hat. So it's I am wearing a Santa a hat. Bit, which is, uh, it's just too festive of a day to follow all the rules. Too, no, we're not following rules. Okay. No rules today. Okay, so there's all kinds of you know fun stuff that I could be doing with the with the lights and the buildings, but I, I want to start getting some of the snow in, in because because I do. I actually have the. Um, Right here, Kevin. The oh, you have a little, little guy? Yeah. My mom insisted that I make new ones because, oh, it looked so bad last time that they were too dirty. Um, so I made new ones. And new, uh, that we're talking about the, uh, the what we used to the frame croppers, up. Yeah. The croppers, yeah. Uh, but my mom's not watching today. Bryce, i got to get you over to my mom's because she lost her pet. She, she can't get into her email. Oh no, again? Again, I know. Yeah. Bryce is kind of an all around tech guru. He helps everyone with Saves everybody. 
And that's what he including, does. In, including Marla's mom. Mm, including my mom. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know how she did it. But... There's all, th this road's really, really, really interesting. Got some fun, fun stuff to play with. Um, and the, the street lamps aren't quite done, and nothing is really quite done. But it's it's definitely got you know some of the flavor of what I would want to see. I'm going to experiment just a little bit with bringing in some of this this rust tone. I had in, that in mind, and I wonder whether that could be that could be interesting. A bit, yeah, that's kind of nice. Just a little bit of that warms it up. There's an interesting mix of the warm and cool in this in this scene. And all kinds of fun stuff going on here, right here on this edge. And again, you know, you don't have to say everything. Okay, I, I think it's time to at least experiment with the snow, just to, just for, for for fun. What I want one thing I want to do is get a little little bit of white white and some of those lights as well. So making sure I have a stick that's going to really cut through the layers. Be soft enough. Um, all right, let's. Let's play around with snow. It, it's the the snowflakes are not white. They are this kind of to me. They look orange, and I I want them to be random. And I want them to be soft. So I'm thinking those things to myself. And I so some of them are are kind of close up and some of them are far back. I'm, you know, snowflakes have different sizes, I guess. I don't know that they're all the same size. But they appear to be different sizes because of their distance from us. Are snowflakes, are the, are when, the, when the snow falls, are all the snowflakes the same size? Well, I don't know. No, they're all different sizes. Some yeah. clump together and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. I never thought about the physics of snowflakes. Let's see. It's all kinds of different snow, that's for sure. That's true. Oh boy, you really have to like really do it. This the this kind of thing, it's a it's an all or nothing deal. You have to either do it and say it like you mean it or you or just don't do it. 
And there's some of these flakes go right across this, the silhouettes of the figures. This guy has quite a lot on him. Definitely, it's definitely an all or nothing proposition here. See, I already, like here, I'm like starting to get a little pattern. You don't want to do that. It's just like the, with the sky holes, it's so easy to, to get, get too much of a pattern going. Some of them are not as bright. They're, they're a little more distant. Martini. Some are right near the camera lens, so they look really big. We might be seeing this in, in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely feels that way. Yeah, it's cold out. It's getting gloomy and cold. Yeah, uh -huh. They are? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Then I'll have an opportunity to get my mom here and get her home. <laughs> Which I was a little worried about. Maybe it won't be that much, though. Are they or are they saying it's going to be a lot or a little? Or? All right, I got to soften some of these. It kind of. I still don't think I'm done with the snow. I think it's got to have more. I got to have more, more, more. I think it's got to have a lot more. Like again, it's kind of an all or nothing proposition. Right here. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but it's okay. Now, okay, let's just talk about what I would, if I had, if I had another hour on this or even uh, maybe 30 minutes, I, I would probably want to like define some of these architectural elements a little bit. That would be fun to, to get these street lamps in here, um, just get that little, little bit of little details of the street lamps in, kind of fun to do um, to get some of that going. Um, but but basically, I think it's got a nice flavor to that it's kind of saying what this is about. Oh, there's a couple other things. There's a few of these lights that are a little bit closer together, kind of making almost like a, um, they're, they're melded together. So let me do that. I, I feel like that, that would be good. dark here in this big cluster. I think 
it a little a little more. And um, just to clarify, there's multiple ways of getting effects like snow, just like like with spray with waves and stuff. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, you, totally. And you just chose this just because that's what how you're feeling today. But. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what like like um, yeah. There's always different ways of going about what, whatever we're painting. You know, usually I'm just going to find figure out the, the, the path that feels um, simplest to me. Also, in terms of like using like a like a spray or a spray fix kind of deal, I, I most of the time I, I'm going to try to find a way around that. I went a little bit. I like this kind of shininess on the sidewalk here. I'm going to try to get a little bit more of that. Let's see. Kind of. Let's see. One on. And then I'm gonna I'm just about ready to call it good. But please um, go to the website and check out the drawing workshop. It's really, um, I'm really, really proud of it. Um, I, something I've been wanting to um, offer to all my students, um, but just felt like it's just such an important piece. I wasn't really able to figure out how I, how to present it and, and make sure that I was um, doing all the things that I, I wanted it to do. Um, finally, finally got that figured out, I think. Yeah, I'm really excited to see people's, um, uh, yeah. people's work, you know, yeah. during the project. Yeah. Me too. And how long will it be on sale? Oh, that's a good question. It will be on sale until the 23rd of January, so... A month. That's an entire month. Yep, yep, yep. How's the painting look? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's put the croppers on it. Yeah, these croppers are a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely fun. Yeah, I like that you're cutting off that um, that lamp post right there. Kind of nice. Yeah, just part of it. it doesn't yeah. need the whole thing. It's implied. Yep. All right. Very, very good. Let's see what else. Do we have any? Do we have questions or anything? Oh, just a lot of um, yeah. you know, just a lot of well wishes, a lot of Merry oh, Christmas. Yeah. And, oh yes, definitely. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Whatever it is that you're celebrating. It's just a really lovely time of year, and, and go check out the drawing workshop. It's, um, it's kind of something else. We're really, really happy to have it finally. Oh, um, um, Sarah would like to know, do you still have that Bob Ross ornament? <laughs> I brought it out here, Sarah, just to show Okay, there it is. There it is. There he is. Bob. Oh, Bob Ross. He's, he's, he's with me in all seasons, really. <laughs> in spirit. Yeah, it's pretty cool because it's there is it's palette 
in, in the ornament is not as, as to scale because it's actually <laughs> like this huge palette that he's always carrying. But yeah. All right, guys. Um, so we'll be back uh, next week. And I think we're going to be trying to schedule the super stream for a monthly membership subscription people. Um, I'm hoping that we get that um, next week. We'll, um, we'll keep you posted on that. But we'll be back next week with something. Not really sure. Oh, and the other thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be posting some additional videos to the YouTube channel in celebration of the 12 days of Christmas. So I don't think there'll be 12, but <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be some. All right. Um, again, happy holidays. See you guys soon. Um, thanks, for, thanks for tuning in. All right. Bye.